Hello everyone. Well, I have a special fun video for you today. I got some sampler packs from Dakota Pastels. Now, not too long ago, I ordered some pastels and I will link that video up here if you're interested. Anyway, they came broken and Dakota Pastels was excellent with their customer service and replaced the items that were broken in my package. And since they had such great customer service and were wonderful, I placed another order with them. So they have a nice little section where you can pick out a sampler set of pastels. They have soft pastel sampler sets in different colors. I picked out the light one, but they have like blue, green, purple, the, you know, like an actual monochromatic color story if you want. And then they also have hard pastel sampler sets. And then to go along with it, I grabbed their Dakota Pastel Paper Sampler. Uh, and these are in six by eight pieces, I believe. So today we're gonna go ahead and unbox these together and check out these sampler sets. Okay, so first off, let's get into the paper. And they have it packaged very nicely. And I'll have their website down below for you. This was $26. Okay, so the first piece of paper feels sanded and it doesn't say, but it's 600, but this is like a sanded cre tannish cream colored paper. And this is like velvety stuff. And it says it's velour. And we got some of this not too long ago in, maybe, well, maybe it was a year, in one of my art boxes. And it's quite the learning curve to paint on these velour papers, but it'll be fun. Here's a cream color that's sanded. Lux Archival. Some nice black. This is 500 grit. Okay, we have some Pastel Premier. It says Italian clay. A nice taupe color. That's going to be fun. And now this one it feels different. It's much finer. Yep, Pastel Premier Fine White. Ooh, and look at this beautiful, beautiful navy color. Pastel Matte. All right, so this one has a strange feel to it. I think that says La Carte on the back of it, but um, yeah, it's almost the cross between like a velour and a sanded. It's got some nice tooth to it, but it's not gritty. This almost feels the same. Okay, this is the Canson Mies Tens Touch. And I've never worked on that paper, so it's probably why I didn't recognize the way it felt. Okay, this is lightly sanded, and that's a pretty maroon color. Art Spectrum Color Fix Original. Another beautiful navy color. This doesn't feel gritty. Art Spectrum Color Fix Smooth. Wow, so that is quite the assortment of papers to try out, which I'm, I'm very excited for, because I really only work on the same two surfaces. I think I've got some UART sanded and some pastel matte. So this is quite the variety to play with. And colors too, that's just fantastic. Very fun, so excited. All right, let's get into the pastels. Okay, I wanted to show how this came. This was in a big box and then all these items were bubble wrapped. So as I said before, I got the Soft Light 12 sampler. There's 12 pastels in here, ranging from different brands and different, I mean, it wasn't just one color. This was just an assortment of lighter color pastels. And this was $55. Something I wanted to say, they also do a custom sampler, which I almost did. I wanted all yellows and that was $60. So they'll go through and make you one with whatever, whatever color scheme you want, but you had to call that one in. And I'm lazy and I don't like to talk on the phone. So let's break this bad boy open. Ta-da. Oh, this is nice. So we have a little card telling us what we're getting. 
So I'll probably swatch these right off to the side here in just a second, but let's take a peek at these first. Isn't that fun? Oh, just to look, I love new pastels. Isn't that fun though? So exciting. All right, so let's put it up like this and go along with the card. The first one up is a Sennelier, and these are mainly what I have in my uh, box, my studio box. Sennelier is my favorite pastel to use on a daily basis. Now I do have some other fancy ones and it's more expensive, but these are my workhorse pastels. And it says number 724. Not really sure. I'll probably take the wrapper off. Let's go behind the names. And this is just copy paper. This isn't anything fancy. I'm mainly just getting the colors down so I can see what I've got here. I'll try these out on some paper here in a moment for you. Okay, we have a Richson hand rolled. I believe I have some of these in a green set. And oh, I guess here is the G22 is the color. These seem a little harder than my Sennelier's. Very pretty, like seafoam green color. Never used this brand before, and this color is eight. Is that the color? I don't know, but it says Vivian. Nice pinky color. We have a Diane Townsend soft form. I just, and actually what I ordered from Dakota Pastels that came broken were my Diane Townsend's and I got the cloud one and I bet I already got this color not too long ago. That's okay. This probably won't show up a little bit, a little bit. It's very white. Okay, here's another one I've never used, blocks. Tell you the truth, I don't even know if I've heard of that. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of a Rembrandt, but it feels more chalky. All right, another pretty pink color. Oh yeah, that's pretty smooth. You know, this reminds me of uh, one of my Mangayos. Okay, next, Art Spectrum Extra Soft Square. I've been wanting to try this brand. Thalo Green Highlight A. Very nice pastel green color. And it's hard really to judge how soft these are on this just plain computer paper, but. Okay, look at this little guy. This is a Gerard. Never used that either. 248. This feels like it's going to be hard. Harder? Hmm. Little bit. Not too bad. This, um, this has a nice feel in your hand. Like if you need to get little nice details and you don't want something as hard as a new pastel, this might be perfect. I might check out this brand and see what else they got. Well, let's see how it performs first, I guess. I don't need to j jump to conclusions. Okay, here's a Mount Vision. 502, a khaki color. These are very nice, too. I can recognize this guy right off, right away. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is, is I think I already have this color, too. This is a Schmin Schminka and it is in color just yellow lemon and i think this is the exact same one i only own like five of these and this happens to be the same color i own oh well these are the softest soft pastels that i've found so far of course i have a couple down here i haven't tried before but if you were looking for a psychotic soft pastel you want to make those top layer highlights and you need something really soft and buttery, uh, this is your brand right here.
And now one of my, uh, I like the Schminke and I also like the Unison. These are probably my second favorite. Of course, Sennelier, Unison, and we're going to go Schminke in order of what pastels I like so far. Another very nice light pink, like a salmony pink. Yeah, these are a very good, reliable pastel, too. Now these, Blue Earth. I've had my eye on these for a little while, too, just because they're square and strange looking, right? I don't know, when it comes to pastels and I see this chunky square, it just, it kind of intrigues me. And there's nice flat area to make very broad marks. Oh, this feels fairly soft. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Well, Schmincke has a competitor for the softest so far. Wow, that was soft. Wow, that was really nice. It feels expensive. Probably is. All right, now, the last one in this is a Terry Ludwig. And this is a, another topish color. And I waited a long time to try the Terry Lugwigs, and they're nice. They're nice pastels, but they weren't quite what I thought they were going to be. They're very nice. But yeah, I'm a little underwhelmed by the Terry Lugwig so far. When I first swatched them, I was all excited. They were wonderful. And then when I actually work with them a lot, yeah, you know, they're nice. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what to say. So here are my initial colors that we received in our sampler pack. I'm going to do some swatches on probably a medium grade sanded paper so we can really feel what's soft, what's harder, and delve down into what these pastels are all about. So we're going to swatch these out on some black paper. I actually already swatched this once but lost my footage, which is fine because I thought of some other things I wanted to talk about while I was swatching, and I got the individual prices, which is nice to know. As we're going through it. So this paper, I just used some black UART, sanded UART. I didn't want to use any of my fancy new papers. I wanted to do paintings on those. So let's go through these one by one, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on these. The first one is Sennelier. I've said it before. This is the majority of the soft pastels in my studio box are Sennelier. I love them. They're very nice. They're pretty soft. Beautiful color. Hard to get little details. And I usually take all the wrappers off and break them in two. But the Sennelier are 460 per stick. And I got most of these prices except for the Ter Terry Lugwig off of the Dakota Pastel website, but I thought that would be a pretty good comparison. So we're going to start out with the 460 here because this is what I would use as my workhorse every day. The second one is the Jack Richardson hand rolled. These are only 290. Now they're a lot smaller, of course, than say this Mountain Vision. So you have to you have to think of that. This is this is pretty small. But it only costs $2.90 if you want to get a nice assortment of colors. These are a little stiffer. And when I'm talking about the hardness levels here, I mean, soft pastels are very personalized. Meaning what I like to work with may not be what you or other artists like to work with. So it's just really a matter of personal opinion on the hardness of these and what I find to be good. So, I mean, take what I say as with a grain of salt. I'm trying to describe them for others. If you know that Sennelier's are really soft, you don't like to work with them. I'm trying to describe some of these other pastels you might like more. So these Great Americans, they're the nice square size also. These are 440. And I think these are very smooth. They're not gritty. They are somewhat soft, not as soft as the Snellies, but they're very smooth at applying pigment. 
And if you need to do large areas, like I said, it's nice. These flat surfaces sometimes are very nice. We have these Diane Townsend soft forms. These are 450. These were a little harder than what I was expecting when I got them. Almost scratchy. And she's got some other ones that actually have grit in them. They're good for base layers. But I have not tried those out yet. Yeah, these are pretty, pretty hard and gritty compared to some of the other ones in this box. Next up is this Blocks. These are 350, so these are slightly on the lower end of some of these, and you get a pretty good size stick for 350. These are very nice. I thought these were almost comparable to the Rembrandts, only softer. When I get my Rembrandts, I like to take the sides of them and rub them on sandpaper or sanded paper to get some of that outside coating off, and then they almost turn into what this is. This is probably really good for making little lines, maybe. Which brings us to this Art Spectrum Extra Soft, Extra Soft Square. Five fifty each. Now this was a little pricey, I thought. This was on the higher end of some of these. And it says extra soft, which I thought was a little misleading. Compared to some of the other ones, they've got a little grit to them. I think these would be really good for laying down a lot of color. Overall pretty good. Almost reminds me a little of the Terry Lugwigs. Now we have this Gerat 525. So a little pricey, getting up there. This really is intriguing me. It feels nice in my hand. There's just something about this. I'm probably gonna try these out. There's something about these that I really, I just wanna try. I don't know how else to describe it. When you pick up a pastel and you're like, ooh, I like this. It's just something you can't describe to people. I think you can maybe get some detailed lines if you had to with these. They're nice and small. That's another thing, you're not getting as much in here as you are perhaps this block. There's a lot less here, which makes it a little more expensive, but I, you know, this, this feels pretty neat. I might give these uh, another try. Mount Vision. These are $3.95 a piece, and you get a nice supply of soft pastel when you buy one of these. You get a lot here for $3.95. These are nice. I have nothing to really say about them, good or bad. They're right in the middle there. They're really good. They're hard enough. You can get some fine lines with it if you had to. These are great. If these are um, something you might want to invest a little bit in a starter set, these are. I think these would be good. Schminka, the softest, I feel, of this whole set. Not every color I've bought is this soft as these yellows or lighter colors, but these are like butter, buttery soft. These are 520, and it does not surprise me that they're 520 up on the higher end. You could just barely have to touch it, especially on the sanded paper. Great for those last little marks you're putting on it, your painting. Great for highlights. Very good. I don't know if I'm ever going to need a full set of these, though, to tell you the truth. I think these are soft enough that I only use them for the last layer of markings on one of my paintings. But some people might like these for their whole painting. But yeah, I'm only going to collect maybe the lighter colors to do my final marks because they're just that soft to me. Here are the Unisons. These are my second favorite. They're a little stiffer than the Snellier's. But still very dependable, good, soft pastel. I also would recommend these. They're a little more pricey than the Snellier's, but these are right up there. They're like I said, this is my second favorite. Which brings us to these, this Blue Earth one. 
this thing right here is only $3.30, which surprised me because when I first swatched it, I thought for sure this was going to cost a lot of money. But now you are only getting a little bit. This is comparable to this Jack Richson. You're only getting a little bit. You know, this is only half, half as much as the Great American. But it's $3.30, which gives, you know, a little leeway. You can buy more colors, perhaps, and try them out. But something about this, I really like this one, too. So I'll probably try out the Duralt and the Blue Earth ones next. They're really soft. Not as soft as the Sminke, but they're, they're up there. Very comparable to the Sennelier's. I like the square structure with this. You can turn it on your side and get a lot of work done, cover a lot of space, block in some areas. Yeah, I really, really like this. I'm going to do some paintings with this, try it out, but I will probably buy a little set of these because so far I can tell this is right up my alley. Now, which brings us to the Terry Lugwigs. I know a lot of pastel artists love these. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying that I did buy some open stock recently. At first, I was really excited. I enjoyed them. But as I start trying some more pastels, I'm realizing that I was maybe a little underwhelmed by these. They're good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're not good. I'm saying, are they worth $6.50? That's all I got to say about that. They are nice. They're just hard enough that they give you some nice details if you really have to make them. They're not too soft. They're not gritty. These are nice pastels. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying for $6.50 a piece, it almost needs to paint the painting by themselves, right? Does anybody else feel that way? But hey, if you have the money and you like them, go for it. You know, they're not bad by any means. I just, they're very expensive. And there's some other pastels here that I feel would perform just like them, like that Great American. And there's These are just a little bit more smooth than these Great Americans, but not by much. I'm not sure if it's that much that the price difference is warranted. This color in particular is great. I do like that. But yeah, there are some other ones here that I think are cheaper that will probably give you the same feeling as these Terry Legwicks. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. All right, so here is the Dakota Pastels sampler set in light. Like I said, they have some other samplers that are more of a color scheme. I thought this was really fun. I definitely have two. I'm going to try out these two right here next. And that's what these things are for. These are for trying out, seeing what you personally like to work with so you can invest after that. You don't want to buy a whole set and you decide, I don't really like these. So these are awesome for that. Um, yeah, so if you like pastel reviews, please let me know down below. And if there's any other kind of brands that you wouldn't mind me trying out, hey, leave a comment, let me know. I might just pick them up to see what they're all about. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.